Welcome back to the Knights of the Smith Dinner Table actual play video and podcast of our giant slayer under Savage Worlds Pathfinder, known as the Legend of the Ramble House Saints. Now that was kind of a meandering thing because I, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of nervous for what's about to happen. Um, you see, last time, this nice little half work right here had tripped our friend Spike. And she took a swing and Spike got a bit of a reprieve when the damage dice weren't working. But the good news is I have extensively play tested this ever since our last episode and the damage dice are indeed working now. So without further ado, um, Spike, any last words before I, I click this button? And I'm just a cactus. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. That's not terrible. That's only one wound as she brings her warhammer down on you, crushing some of you. And are you going to? Why gonna... can't I soak it now? I hadn't applied it yet. Are you going to try Six. and soak it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. She soaked it. I'm a strong cactus. And let's clear that blood off that's not actually there. All right. So that takes us to the end of her turn. And then it goes to the other orc. Who, he screams out. Does anybody actually speak orc? Um, I think well, that does. It, it's, it's not Spike. It is indeed uh, this. Or, yeah. uh, I didn't put languages on. I will fix that. So this oh guy right here. This gnome doesn't know how to say anything. <laughs> um, he screams out an orc. And Thid, you're the only one that can understand him. As he's screaming for help. Not like in a terrified way, but in a, Just hey boys, here's some more fodder. Oh, yeah. So he moves up to there. And, oh, as he comes around, he sees a big human. He wants a piece of that big human. So as he comes up, he is going to take a swing with his falchion at Mr. Uh, Kratos. The game is positive. Oh, thank you. All right. He is swinging wildly because he is in his bloodlust. And, and, well, you know what? He, he doesn't like that role. He's got them. He's going to use them. I don't like that role. And he turns a miss into a solid hit. And it comes out with a shaken result onto Kratos. And then it goes to Thid. You heard that guy? This guy right here, this big hulking orc, scream out for his boys. All right. Um, that remind me, uh, if I were to like cast and then move and then attack, can I do that, or do I have to move at the beginning or move at the end? Nope. You can split up your turns however you like. Okay. You can even split up your movement however you like. Oh, okay. I don't think we could split the movement. Cool. Um. All right. So, Spike Lee's pretty well boogered. Um, yeah, she's only got one wound. Oh, uh, one. That's good. All right. So, Thid is going to look to Kratos and um, let's rub a little Vaseline on his axe, or his great hammer, right? What do you have out? Do you have your maul? I uh, currently have my maul. Yeah, so he'll rub a little Vaseline on the head of it as he stands there, and... <laughs> <laughs> He's rubbing um, Vaseline on the head. That's inappropriate. And, and then he'll say, there's more coming. Um, <clears throat> so he will try this roll... He's going to do two actions, so he'll be at a minus two. 
Oh, look at them dices. So, um, he will increase his fighting, which increases his two hit. Yep, two steps. Two steps. Cool. Um, And then the rest of his turn is to come up to here. Okay. And smack old boy that was calling for help. With uh, his, this is old boy who called for help. She is. The oh lady. yeah, he, he called. This yep. is the one smashing um Spike. So yes. Will, so you're going uh, after that female half orc there. Yeah. So we will try some flail action at a minus two. Yeah, and that's gonna, that's going to be a miss. Let's try it one time here. Nope. Still a miss. So he misses. And that'll be it. All right. That takes us to Spike. You are lying on the ground. Okay. Um, vulnerable because of it. What are you going to do? I'm going to stand up. Okay. Like a big, big cactus. That gets rid um, of the vulnerable status. I'm going to take a swing at this guy in front of me and then move. I'm going to swing at him with my scythe. Okay. Is the thingy working? Yeah, look at there. Is there a gang up bonus for this? It'll apply it automatically. Oh, how nice. Oh, mm. so close. Mm. No, I'm just going to leave it. All right. And as you step away... Yeah. They both get to take a free swing at you. She swings first. And she is going to hit you. Oops, I I hit the wrong button. That was damage. So let's see if she does hit, actually. She does Ooh. not hit you. Nice. Then he's going to swing at you. Boo. And nice. he does hit you. Oh, I, I was going to say you're excited. I'm getting excited. Ooh, 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 that's oh. going to leave a mark. Oh. Oh. <laughs> As he just rocks your world. Oh, oh, Spike's dead. <laughs> Try and soak it <laughs> if you can. All right, so you uh. stop. Do, do, do. You stop none of it. So let's see what, roll that incapacitation. So does she have one more Benny left? Uh, she does. Yeah. We could go back to that. Yeah. So if you okay. go, not to this one, but if you go up to the one before. Yeah. Oh. oh. Uh, uh. All right. So that success. went to a success, which is a bare success. So rather, she is at three wounds. So she is unconscious, but she's not going to suffer the usual stuff. She is just unconscious at three wounds. Where is unconscious? I don't think they have it on here. All right. That would just make her vulnerable. And prone again. All right. Kratos. All right. Well, let's see if I uh, am shaken or not. You are still shaken. You spin the Benny to get rid of it. And. and uh, oh, go ahead. No, I was saying, and what you going to do? All right. We are going to take this nice lubed up mall. And give it to this uh, this big beefy orc right here. Okay. Give it to him, bud. It's all lubed up and ready for him. And you know what? We're going to give him the full end of the business. We're going to give it to him wildly. Mm. Oh, look at that. That is a hit. No raise. All right. Let's give him uh, the business end of the damage. Not so much. What? No, we can't have that. Oh, there's an ace. 
All right, so that would be two wounds for him, and he's going to attempt to soak it. And he stops one of the wounds, which also gets rid of the shaken status. And are you going to move it all? Uh, you know what? We're going to stay here and protect Spike. Okay. So we're good. Oh, you clicked next before I could tell you not to. That's okay. Oh. Let me throw these guys in. Oops. Oh, man, I like watch that initiative, too. These guys are all grouped up, so they only get one card. Let me draw it for them and see where they're at. All right. And Spike's card. Okay, Kratos with the Black Joker. All right, we're going to give this guy the uh, business end of the mall. We lived it up with a little bit of blood now. Blood it's a natural lubricant. And we're just going to keep on with the uh, the wild swing there. I was, I was in a band named Blood and Vaseline once. Ooh. Ooh, that's a hit with a raise. All right, let's give him the business end of this. He's going to take two wounds. He is going to try and soak it. He is not going to stop both wounds. He does stop one of them. So, it's enough to stop the shaking. And that allows us to move on, I believe. I'm going to hit enter now. Yep, Fid. All right, so Fid is going to slide here. So Kratos, watch my back for a second. And he's going to pull out some Miracle Grow. And attempt to um, patch up this cactus. All right, so you remove one wound. And then she is no be... longer unconscious, but she is still prone. Yep, that's going to be pretty much the go about. And he'll just turn around with the shield ready. Why does it do that? All right, then the big guy. He is staggering. Um, he did not like that hit. So he is going to return the favor. And he is angry. So not only is he going to return the favor, he's going to sweep. Oops. All right. And he has a minus two because it's a sweep. He is doing a wild attack. And here we go. He does not like that. And he still does not like that. There we go. So he hits all three. Oh, whoever number three is, is, is really getting the business. Oh, hopefully it's about <laughs> yeah. Oh, yay. I wasn't sure who that was going to hit. But uh, Thid, you take a wound. Do you wish to try and soak it? Yep, I will attempt to soak it. Got it. All right. So you don't take anything. Then it goes to her. She <laughs> is going to attempt to soak that. Oh, I'll just there's, imagine an Sid held the there's another ace. And it just got to like slid off. All right. So after all that, she still takes one wound. Um. I need to, can I get that to go under the, or hold on. Let me change the size of that blood. Cause that's, that's a little yeah. excessive. That's, what I was just that's a whole lot of blood. 
Where was that at in here? I'm in the settings. It's on my end. Oh, is it okay? Oh, yeah, let's change that scale. And I'm going to clear the blood for now, and anything new should be a much like lower it. scale. Like 33%. <laughs> All right. Spike, you are awake, you are prone, and you have two friends in front of you. One person that you guys were working on saving next to you. What are you going to do? I would like to cast healing on myself, if I can do that. You sure can. You have a... You have a Benny if you want to use it. I know, but I don't want to die. Hey, Let's look go. at that. So you go down by one more step in the wound status. Ooh. Do you want to stand up or and move? Or yeah, what? I'll go ahead and stand up. All right. So you stand up. And status. Vulnerable is gone. Blizzender. All right. Looking at this. I've got these guys set up. I've. So we're going to, we're going to play with some PowerPoints here. Okay. We're going to pump up. uh, We're first, we're doing a, uh, burst. I'm using my burst ability. And then what do I do here? Manual PP management? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to spend. How many actions are you taking? Uh, this is just going to be one. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is I'm using burst with the damage bump, which makes it a plus two selective to remove thid from the equation to make that a plus three. And so it's going to be a five point total. Okay. One. And I'll just roll it here and we'll go from there. Oh, hell no. No, you don't like that roll? Oh, no, I do not. I'll also target these guys while I'm at it. Hold shift and alt to target more than one. I don't know if it worked or not. Uh, You got him. It's not even showing me that she is targetable. Well. There you go. Oh, you have Oh, wait. Maybe it was because I was on the wrong thing. Probably. Oh. There we go. Sounds like Rowan is not happy. Unhappy baby. Uh, That is not the thing that I'm using. It's the... I'll clear that out. Yeah, I'm using the stream because it's... The cone? No, it's uh, stream or cone. Basically, it's 24 by 2. And then just unselecting Thid. All right, now on to the Benny. As so I will re-roll that. There yeah. we go. That is a success with a raise. Indeed. So click that. That'll do. Re- click the raise button first, and then we can add the extra dice from there. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. I'll go ahead and. go down and what do I all right so expand each of them and you're going to see that they have an add a d6 to damage there we go and you have to do it on each of them yep all right oh she's nice she is getting blasted again as I just reach up and just blow a cone of cold that just Bypasses Thid and smacks into these two. Thid's beard has frost all around it. He's going to try and soak. 
I would hope so. Um, he failed. He is a wild card, so. Uh, all right. This is just a temporary injury, so unless you guys kill him, his vigor takes broken a hit. <laughs> He's got broken guts. <laughs> You gave him diverticulitis, dude. All right. Then we go to her. So she is going to attempt to soak it. She also succeeds with one, but she took four. So let's see if she's going to survive this. She is taking a permanent wound. And she gets oh. hit right in the unmentionables. <laughs> oh gosh! That, that, I flash, <laughs> flash, froze her. Clit off! Yeah. Jesus Christ! Oh, yep. Jesus. Yeah, froze the camel toe. Oh man! We, we, we call that a mastodon, actually. <laughs> All right, and then next up, these and guys. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Should they do a fear check after they witnessed one they, of their leaders? They get didn't their witness frozen anything. Because they were inside of a building. As they come running out. Do, do and the last one. You guys see another gang of orcs coming out. They're coming behind us. All right, Spike, you are up first. I am going to move and attempt to heal myself okay. after I move. Good choice, good choice. Get behind the maybe. big, burly human guy. Yeah, maybe I'll take another step because this little cactus has been burnt a few times. Oh, look at that. And that cactus brings herself back to no wounds. Yay. All right, it goes to Blizz. Well, it worked so good the first time. <laughs> Let's do the exact same thing. Uh, this time I'll only need to spend four power points because I do not have... Where'd that Angle template come from? 90. Nope. Are you given the template? <laughs> yeah, I'm dropping the template. There's orcs behind us, and you blast the building beside us. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, I would, I would prefer to do it in the stream. Okay, if, if I can hit them all five with the cone, that works too. Either or works. And oh, whoops! I did not target them all again. I'm failing uh -huh. at my. Uh, that's okay. If you target them before you roll the damage, it will apply it. All right, now this time, before we do the raising, what do I click on? I click the edit. Yep, manual, PowerPoint management. Or no, I, for the damage, how do I edit the damage oh, you have prior to You have to the damage that? first. Okay. Here comes a bunch of dice across your screens. Right, but I will expend the four PowerPoints. Uh... I'll need to get two back because it, I didn't, okay. And so I'll have to add the extra dice to each one. Yep. Good Lord. Oh. That is a pile of dice. Oh. Still going. <laughs> All right. So... Are you going to bother soaking any of them? I can't soak any of them. Okay. Well, then... Let me apply the damage to the three 
who took it, and then you only have to do... Actually, no, the two who took one are still standing. Oh, okay, so then... Well, then that one, then I'll get the two that took one. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, popped him up to two, though. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm not going to spend a Benny on that damage. I'll just let it ride. Okay. All right, so as they came around the corner, Blizz just lit them up. With a cone of cold. And then seeing that the healer went back there and I'm still a little bit wounded, I'm going to move next to the healer and end my turn while I fix my power points back to where they should be. All right, Kratos. Oh, here's the intern. There it is. Uh, shouldn't two of them have been dead? Um, these guys are... Are they, are they wild cards? No. So why... Hold on, let me see where wounds are at. He's fine. He took one, and they do not have... Well, what about fruit? Nope, that just changes the... So he should have gone... Yeah, one of them only took one wound when he should have took two. I think he clicked the the take it before I added the extra d6 for the damage pump. There we go. Bumped him from 17 to 18, which gave him Okay. There we go. Wound. All right. Kratos, that's what you see. Oh, so I see three dead? Three are dead. All right. And we're going to give a little bit of labored breathing as we're trotting up to these guys. Because we're, we're just feeling pretty tired after all this excitement. Yeah. And we're going to take our nice uh, extra lubed up mall now and give the business to this guy right here in the front. Okay. And wild attack. That is a raise. As he's still recovering as that cone of cold just blasted him right in the face. You come up and you knock him somewhere into next week. All right. And that will be it. Thid, one orc stands. So Thid will march down here. Or actually, to right there, rather. And he's going to take this throwing axe he found recently. So he'll just drop his flail where he's at. Take this throwing axe. And take a shot. Oh. Damn. That's just nice. short. And that'll be his go round. All right. His turn. He's not shaken. He's not much of anything. And he is not happy. So he rushes forward thinking he can surely handle you guys. And he takes a... He's going to take two actions. He's going to take a swing at each of you. So he swings his falchion around first at... Um, Kratos. Bringing it right around waist high. And he hits Kratos. Whoops, no. Uh, I forgot to add the minus two into that. So that's going to be a miss. Then he swings around. And let me remember the minus two this time. And goes after Thid. And he misses Thid as well. And that takes us to the beginning of round four. Thid got the Black Joker. All right. So Thid's going to take... It's one action to pick something up, yeah? Yep. It's a free so, action to grab it off the ground. Oh, okay. So he will grab his flail back, kind of cussing at himself because he shouldn't have missed. And he'll take 
two swings for good measure, and he'll make them wild attacks. Yep. Oh. Good. Good, good, and good. And as he spins that flail around trying to hit, it slips out of his hands. Um, let me see if I can find a good flail. Oh, look at this. There, there is indeed a, a flail. Granted, it's a two-headed flail, but... Um, so it is going to... One inch to the 12 o'clock. So that flail lands right there. So, like, free action, I can pick it up again? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Second free action, you yeah, yank it back up. Silly. And then he'll try to swing again because now he's embarrassed because he had too much lube on his hands. And he strikes him good. All right. Oh, very good. But good. You hit all. And uh, he goes down. I don't know why. I'm going to have to double check the rules on that. All right. As the last one falls, you guys exit combat. Uh, I'm assuming you don't want the standard falchions. Nah. So let me... I'm going to spend a penny for power points just as a heads up. Uh... Same. And then, James, I was going to ask. So, like, I've been, like, I don't know, six, seven episodes now yeah, without any alchemist bombs because, you know, I'm an alchemist and you only get them when you sleep. So I was going to see if we could do anything about spending bennies for, like, one or two bombs versus power um, bombs. I would say you could spend a benny to gain a use back. Okay. I see nothing wrong with that. Cool. Yeah, it was just like I'm playing an alchemist and I and I fight now. <laughs> so, so all cool. right. So keep it in mind. I want to heal, Liz. Go ahead and take gonna, care of that. Are you going to use a spell or are you? And okay. I'm going to turn her no, I just, over to. Not feeling the game tonight, you know. Do you have a? Oh, you're fatigued. I know because we're not. Yeah. I'm never. I'm always fatigued. Yep, I'm gonna go against this uh, wall over here and kind of do like a half lean squat against it. And if if only someone had the relief power. Oh, I, I've got it. But right now I'm looking through the bodies. The the uh, two that actually you know mattered, the ones that were hard to take down. Um, um, while he's doing while you're doing that blues, I'll check out your injury. The only thing the big guy has is a falchion. She, however, has considerably more. And right, she has been opened better. up to you guys. Awesome. I'll clear that. Uh, I do not up. have permission to yeah. open, update actor. Cannot. <laughs> um, is that mod not turned on? Merchant Sheet NPC, yeah. All right, so let me go. Oh, hey, also if you double click, right click, you target somebody. I don't know that. Nice. Well, while we're waiting for that, I will That's go ahead and really weird. see that Two of you are, or all three, are all three of you fatigued? No, I'm, I, I'm okay. I, I had my Wheaties this morning. I'm leaning against the wall, pretty labored breathing. And so, Spike Lee, you guys look, you guys look like you've been through it. Pull, yeah. please. Hasn't been a good day. Sid's gonna be rubbing the Vaseline off of his gloves. 
Because <laughs> he's who he's are you targeting flails. with that one? Uh both. Okay. Because for one PowerPoint more, I can do additional recipients. So uh, if you guys have fatigue, up to two points of it, it is gone. Yay! I'm starting to feel much better now. Uh, what's what's your name, fella? Lysander Moonbeam. Uh, okay, I, I'm Sid, and, and this is Spike, and that one's Crado, right? And I'm to walk up behind him and give him a nice little pat on the back and kind of like a reach around hug. Uh, okay, try and loot her now. Nope. I still just can't get this pocket open. I don't know. All right. I'm going to pause things for a moment. Heard. And I'm going to pause the recording. Hold on just a second. All right. Character sheet issue fixed, and they are now able to get into the loot. And I saw him furiously mixing up, like, some sort of alchemical reagents, correct? Correct. <laughs> All right. Blue, you can go ahead and open it. I'll let you go first. You're already here. Sorry. All right. Let's see. Um, what is oh. a shield cloak? I should have two bennies left. I don't know where my bennies went. I, have zero. Um, I show you having you two. Have to. Oh, it's because I'm on pencil. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm good. What is a shield cloak? Um, it before I start digging through the book here. Did I not put it? Oh, apparently you're gonna have to loot it because apparently I did not put it in anything else oh i know where it's at it's in the compendium aha mike are you still inside her inventory yes okay i can open it as well so i think because we're owners we can nice yeah, both be in it all right uh, so wrong equipment i do you, do you care if I take this alchemist fire? I'm no, that's, good with that's, it. that's your thing. Um, uh, okay. So, there I would go. like the potion. Uh, you, sure, uh, that's, that's your thing, so. I think you, you seem like you, you do that thing. Oh, I do. Um, I'll, I'll take that thunderstone off their hands, too. Isn't that just like the thunderclap, like, alchemist, alchemist item, right? What was that? I'm sorry. A uh, thunderstone. Is it just like a thunder, like the little yeah, stone it, that causes sonic damage? It causes sonic damage, yes. Okay. I'm trying to buy it, but. It's being super, super not happy about it. Why well, is anybody else on the screen? Remember, we had this problem last time? Yeah. Okay. I will I'll back exit out. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll back. Back like that. I'm out. So oh, I, I think it's because I double clicked a bunch of it too. <laughs> yep. Okay. I'm out. Um, a Masterwork Warhammer. Which would Sid? Take a see. Sid. All right. Let's see if my. There we go. This flail's not really my thing. So Thid's going to substitute his flail for this Warhammer because of his buddy Bash. The Warhammer's just the one-handed wreck. Yeah, Warhammers are just one-handed. I should probably. It took me 19 times to purchase it, but we're there. We're good. There we go. Okay, wondrous items. 
Oh man. It is not in there. I have three of them. It must have been an item that I created and threw on her. Well, my main thing is, would it be something that a caster could use? Does it count as armor without counting as armor? I believe it gives a bonus to parry, just like a shield does. Well, then, yes, Blizzender would like that. Oh, look, Blizz purchased that Masterwork Warhammer three times. Yeah, I sure did. Blizz did. Did you end up with three copies of it? I did. So I deleted two of them. Awesome. Yeah, but it is like super choppy for me right now. Yeah, I don't know why it's being so choppy. I'm going to blame. Blame Blizz. Um, blame. Yeah, Blizz, I froze everything. Blizz, you, you, you're, you seem like a natural spellcaster. Is that what I'm getting here? Why, you, yes. Yes, I am. Okay, so Thid's going to hold out some stuff for you. Let me see if I can just drag it to her inventory and do it that way. Am I casting Detect go. Arcana? No, you're just taking these scrolls that I don't want. Oh, okay. Did you put I them on her? Thing with them. Uh, working on it. Can't you just drag them over to my character? I forget how that works. I can. You giving him all the scrolls? Dustin. Hmm. I think he was refreshing. Okay. Are you no, giving... no, it, I didn't refresh. The whole game crashed. Uh, oh. Are you giving him yeah. all the scrolls? Yeah, if you just want to drag those for yep. me to his inventory. There should be one or two on her now. Yeah, two of them. Oh, I got to pause her for just a have. second. Are we okay. back on? We are now back on. So, Blizz is going to, like, read through these scrolls. Oh, summon ally, not bad, not bad. Oh. oh. And... He's just gonna look at Thid and just like, like looks like he's about to hug him and thinks better of it. But um, thank you, thank you very much. You there, Thid? He's not on my screen. Yeah, I he's not on mine either. Whoops. Nope, he's making very upset noises. <laughs> I could reenact them, but they wouldn't do them justice. Let's try for those listening at all. Uh, Testing. Hey, there you I, go. I heard the whole thing. You guys couldn't hear me. So Thid's going to be standing there like that meme of the little black boy with the like cup in his hand, just like giving the side eye as you try to like hug him or whatever weird <laughs> social encounter. He he's thinks doing. about for for a moment and then just uh, this this is a very powerful spell. Uh, Okay, uh, you're you're welcome. Um, I think we need to get going. Yes, uh, there's a giant to fight. Uh, what? You I didn't mean, hear the guardsmen saying giant? Uh, no, uh, but well, I'd that... really like to go study it. Uh, have you? Did you know that there's multiple types of giants? And and so there's like cloud giants, which I I haven't ever heard anything about. Like uh, they're they're just rumors, but. So then Thid's going to ramble until Blizz shuts him Nerd. Up. Oh, no. Blizz will be nodding along and be like, yes, and giants typically are the ones who run these types of raids, which means they're going to be the ones who have the best things and the most clout for defeating. Well, I, and I just, I, I want to, I just want to study one and like, I'll let you have all the things. I don't, I don't even care about mm. that, but I just want to like get a sample uh, of their skin and maybe some of their blood or whatever kind of viscous fluid they have. Um, oh. And then uh, maybe I'll... Uh, I'll uh, where where did they say they were? I don't know. I saw guards rushing saying giant at one point. I was heading that way, and then these mooks accosted me. Well, we, we really need to get all the people back to the longhouse, right, is where we're sending them? Or we're sending them to up, uptown? 
to the longhouse. To the longhouse. Oh, we, well, we, we need to get these people to the longhouse, and then uh, then we'll definitely go try to find one. Well, then we'll quickly check through these houses. Um. So these houses, not this one, but like these over here, have all collapsed, kind of blocking the way. Um. That also looks down like here real quick. down Grab this way is going to be your best way through. All right, so we've cleared these. They've cleared these areas before they got to me. Seems like it. Making sure there's no people. Okay. Well, I wasn't tasked with that, so. No, I don't have my warhammer because my game crashed. Shit. Um, hold on. I thought I saw it on. Yeah, there's two of them on there. On my list. Yeah. I know it's overlooking, but I. Thanks. Yeah, I got none on my side. That's really weird. I may need to refresh. Yeah. Hold on. Just well, my now. game also like crash crashed, so it probably did a weird render thing. Um, I can get you. Yeah, it was a masterwork warhammer. Masterwork yeah. warhammer. That's all I need. Which way did we go? South or north? I'm all alone. We went to the south. So, oh, I see you guys. You're under. Yeah, just All make right. sure you run and through the you fire. Guys are coming up to there. I'm, I'm going to pause it for a moment. I'm going to find this oh. warhammer for Mr. Thid because it's it's possibly going to be important here in a moment. Oh. Melee weapons. There's it's not going to have a pretty picture. That's okay. I'm not one for cosmetics. I'm OCD. Is that you talking? All right. There you go. Thank you, sir. Okay, so as you guys get here to where you can see past the fire and you can see the hastily erected barricades and you see somebody down here past this barricade. But as you're looking that way, you see a female orc and not just a female orc. She's brought friends she has five wolves with her and as she sees you guys come clear of the fire she shouts in orc which apparently only Thid can understand kill them so probably a good thing that you guys got the relief spell taken care of you I am going to group these wolves up so that way they don't chew through the cards. There we go. All right. Bad puppies. All right. And up first is her. And she, oh, she sees a dwarf. So she takes off. Rushes up to Thid. As she does, she yanks a massive, or not a massive, it's not a great axe, a uh, battle axe off of her back, and she swings it at Thid. Bringing it in in a cross swing. She actually does have that, and she is in a bloodlust, so let's see how many of these hit. Uh, do do do. One of the two hits. And Thid is going to be taking a wound. Thid is going to try and soak said wound and successfully soak said wound as he turns his armor into it. And she goes in frustration. All right. Now it's the wolf's turn. This one rushes straight forward. Going after the first critter it sees, which happens to be Spike. And it successfully bites her. It does not, however, successfully damage her. Because it probably got bit down on the spike <laughs> and aborted that. This one rushes up. It targets Spike as well. 
Come on, there's another person standing there. They're wolves. It They're does successfully animals. hit. And the wolves trying to bite a cactus. Hold Come on, on just a second, because this damage has got to be modified. Um, doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. I don't want to add a D6 to it. I f okay. It's not going to make any difference on the number of wounds, so... Adding a D12. That's crazy. You are taking a wound. You wish... Yes, you do. And Spike successfully soaks that wound. The third wolf comes rushing up. And it is also going to attack Spike, increasing that uh, <laughs> gang up bonus. My wife is so mad right now. Is she? <laughs> well, of all oh, the people God. who love puppies. Out of here. I the can't. people who love the puppies the most are the ones who are getting mauled by them. I can't, I can't see her, but I know she is. <laughs> All right. Here comes that pack attack bonus. Oh. And that's going to shake her. This one, not having an easy path to spike, runs up and thank goes God. after Blizzender. Did she just say thank you? I, said, thank I think God. she said thank God. Oh, okay. Thank God. But that's you right now because we're playing Pathfinder. It is. All right. Well, it's way All right. That one missed, even with the uh, gang up bonuses. Thanks to my new shield cloak. Oh, I already did him. There we go. This one comes up. It's going to take advantage of the gang up bonus. And it tries to bite. And they are snapping and snarling and all kinds of fun stuff. What was its gang up bonus? Total gang up bonus three. Here we go. And Blizz gets shaken. Then it is Blizz's turn. Let's see if Blizz can break that shaken with that. All right. I can. Indeed. All right. So there's a pile of wolves on me. Yep. They seem to have split their focus between you and Spike. Right. Okay. Well, if I do... This large template. All right, so we are casting again. We're playing with the powerpoints here tonight. We are casting entangle. Oh, nice choice. With with that entangle, I'm spending plus three powerpoints to make it a large blast template, and another plus two for all entangled targets to take. 2d4 damage at the end of their turn. Okay. Are you going to exclude So I'm spending... And, uh, and Spike. So another two more on top of that. This is going to be a nine power point spend. That is a success. Oh, do I want to re-roll it? Because... The difference between bound and entangled is well. If they're, if they're distracted, they can't attack when I move. Correct. Uh, they, if they're distracted, no, they can still attack. Okay. What if they're distracted and vulnerable? They can still attack. Um, the distracted is just a minus two onto their roll. The vulnerable oh, no. is a plus two for you to hit them. It's shaken. No, no, with the bound, is, which is what I want. Okay. They cannot make physical actions other than trying to break free. So, so I'm going to spend a Benny on this. Oh. And critically fail. Oh. Fuck my life. <laughs> well, the good news is it only costs you. Oh, wait. One PowerPoint. Well, let, let's see. 
as we go. Oh, to magical feedback. Oh. The dynamic backlash table. Hey, oh, Bliss was pretty cool though, Mike. So like, I'm glad I got to meet him at least. Right. All right. <laughs> so your your synapses crackle and overload with the power. You're taking two d six plus the cost of the power points that you declared. So it's two d six plus nine damage. Ow. <laughs> As you guys see, his spell just fails spectacularly. All right, so that's seven, 16. Your toughness, or yep, your toughness is six. So that is 10 higher. That is two raises, so two wounds. Do you wish to try and soak those? I would like to try to soak All those. Right. Make that vigor check. All right, oh, this this is just terrible. What? All right. All right, you managed to soak all of the wounds coming from your spell. As the rest of you see these vines and everything just start growing out of his eyes and his nose and his mouth, and he's yanking them off as fast as he can. Uh, that, that should only be a single success because for whatever reason, um, I was trying to roll the damage that you had rolled and it still stuck it, on there. So oh yeah, hold on, let's do this. It, it would just be a four. Yep. There we go. So All I right, take so one, you wound. still take one wound and, but I only spent one PowerPoint. Yep. All right. Let me give you that wound. All right. Um, well, since they can all maul me if I try to move, I'm just going to stand here and hope that Kratos likes me enough to save me after I made him feel better. All right. Next up, we have Thid. Oh, Thid. So Thid's kind of exiled from the group and this crazy lady came up yelling at him probably cussing at his dwarven heritage so yeah yeah she's called you all kinds of names he's going to attempt to boost his own fighting and that is a success you increase it by one step so let me do that first all right um was that the only action you were going to take no. Oh, no. And I should have put a minus two, so I missed that. So it did not. It was not a success. Okay. I meant to do that, and then I was going to swing. So now I would just swing without the boost. And with a minus two, because I'm not forgetful. So test out this new... Fixed it. Okay, sweet. Um, Don't forget your minus two. Yeah, minus two this time. And it will just be a regular attack. No, didn't do it. All right. Um, all right. So then, Thid is going to try. We've got to try to get spread out here a little bit. So Thid's going to move here first. And so the wolf will get a bite. Yep. Let me move you back so it'll do... Correctly. That's a miss. Okay, so one, two, and that's not in the fire, right? Or we like no, is this... that's not in the fire. Okay, so he's gonna go to there and end his turn, trying to spread the fight out a little bit. All right, from Thid to Crado. All right, so this lady rushes up and goes after Thid. Yep. This pack of wolves comes up and goes after Spike. Mm -hmm. And this uh, new little shorty. You know what? As part of my, uh, my arrogance and overconfident nature, we are going to take a step up to here. Okay. We're going to declare three attacks. And we're going to go wild on it. Okay. 
Who are you first attacking? One is going, ah. First one is going to be after her. All right. So Maul, wild attack, and then minus four for the extra two. That, that looks like a miss. Uh, and nah, I will try that again. Oh, there's an ace. That is a hit. No raise. All right. So she is going to attempt to soak that. And she stops one of them. All right. Next attack. Second one, we will continue to go after her. Wild, minus four. Wow. Those wild dice are loving you. I know, right? And looks like regular damage again. All right, so that'll shake her. All right, and the third go around. And still after her. That looks like a hit. For enough to cause a wound, as you just slam that maul into her, she tries to soak it, and she stops one of them. Which was so the only one. All right, and that will be the end of me. Spike, you have Alrighty, canine right. friends, and you are shaken. Oh, I got to unshake. Why is she unshaken? I'm no longer shaken. You are no longer shaken. Yeah. I was trying to figure out why how the orc uh, got unshaken. Because uh, she soaked. Oh, but she had taken a shaken result before that on its own. Oh, it, still yeah, right. it still removes shaken after you soak regardless. Oh. Well, then I'll take that back off. Yep. All right. So, Spike, you are no longer shaken. What are you going to do? I'm going to take my scythe and just try to demolish this wolf that had the audacity to come up at me. The audacity. I, I was going to say you're going to try, but it looks like you're going to succeed with a raise, even. She's trimming that puppy's undercoat here. And you drop that wolf. Get out of my face. Um, I'd also like to step back. Okay. If, so, if I, is, this, is this the same, though? If I take a step, do they get yep. it? Yep. Yeah, you'll you'll provoke two attacks if you move. <laughs> I'll just stand here. Okay. All right. As it reshuffles, what the actual fuck? Excellent. That is like that. what the third or the fourth black Joker. Third. third. All right. I got Rado. one. Crater got two. All right. Well, we are like, once again going to take three attacks. Uh, target her. Uh, of course, we're still going to wild. Minus four. First attack, go. That is a hit. All right. And damage. She is going to become shaken. Uh, that's fine. Second mall attack. Wild attack. Minus four. Go. All right. That is a hit with a raise as you are just wailing on her with this massive hammer. And let's see what happens to her. Because she is unable to soak that. Uh, she did not critically fail. So she is still... But her guts become battered. All right, and your third attack? 
we are going to give it to this wolf right here. All right. Mod attack, minus four. That is a hit. You are probably going to wreck this wolf. Yup. Oh, I shook it. Oh, looks like I spoke too soon. You know what? We don't like that. No? Still shaking. Ah, uh, we'll spend one more. Why not? We've got plenty of them tonight. All right. There we go. And I'm just going to let a roar out as I uh, took both of those out. All right. Spike. There's one wolf right, that's I'm threatening on. you now. Yeah. And I'm going to get him. I'm going to look at him. I'm going to growl at him. Because I assumed he growled at me. So I'm going to try to, like, mock him. Ooh. A big I'm not a very scary a wolf. Mm, not a Stanley. All right. Blizz. Frostbite! Frostbite! And I'm just going to try to claw these one wolf. I'm going to declare two attacks. First one against this one. Breaking out the claws. And so there you go here. There we go. And you know what? Let's... No, I'm not going to make myself vulnerable. This That's not smart tactics. That's a miss. That is a miss, but we'll try with the second attack. Okay. Do the same thing. Oh. There we go. That's a hit. As your second claw comes in and connects. Holy cow. And you just rip this wolf's throat right out. All right, so from Blizz. Unless he's going to move. Nope, I'm not I'm not giving them the All right. Fid. Two wolves remain. All right, so it is going to move down to here. And take two swings at Mr. Wolf. Nope, not that one. This one. That's, so that's a miss. number one. Boys are bad. And then swing number two. Got him. All right. Crunch. He takes the wound. Maybe Bash was right as he looks at this new war hammer. And then that's it. All right. This lone wolf. Um, it saw its mistress go down, but it's going to keep after Blizz, hoping to be able to take him out so that way it can go after the person who killed his mistress. And it's going to miss. And that takes us to round three. Blizz, you were up first. Well... Let's uh, do what we did the last time, but this time to this wolf. All righty. Oh, that's a hit. And it becomes shaken. All right, that, that works. Let's try it again. Oh, what's going on? Oh, sorry. I don't know. Whatever it was. But since I see that the wolf was 
taken aback by my attack, I can back away. All right. And now I'm good noodling. Spike. Okay. I'm going to pick off a little spike off me, off my arm. And I'm going to shoot it at Mr. Wolfie here. Chucking your magical spike missile? Yep. Oh, that's a hit. As the cactus spline strikes true, hitting him for a second, causing a second shaken result, and that ends the combat. And as the last wolf falls, you guys hear a massive horn blow out the... Coming from the west. And that's where we'll pick up next time. I hope everybody had a great time watching, and we'll see you next episode. Have a great one. Spend the bennies for PowerPoints. See you, everybody. Bye. Bye. All right. Have a great one.